This next episode of Trivia in Chief is about our 19th president, Rutherford B. Hayes, and his role in creating the modern presidency. Rutherford Bertrand Hayes was born in Delaware, Ohio in 1822. He became a lawyer in Ohio and represented several fugitive slaves in court cases. In 1852, he made Lucy Webb. Hayes served in the Union Army during the Civil War and was wounded in action and achieved the rank of Major General. While serving in the Army, he was nominated to run for a seat in the U.S. House of Representatives. Because he was serving in the Army, Hayes refused to campaign. The election was a landslide, with Hayes emerging victorious. He served in Congress three years, before being elected Governor of Ohio in 1867. He served three terms as Ohio's governor, stepping down in 1876 to run for president as a Republican. The Democrat candidate was Samuel J. Tilden, who was extremely popular. It was predicted that Tilden would win both the popular vote and the Electoral College. Hayes' campaign team claimed the ballots cast in South Carolina, Louisiana, and Florida were not valid. As a result, these states ended up submitting two sets of ballots. A commission was formed to figure out which vote should be counted. The commission was composed of seven Democrats, seven Republicans, and one Independent. The Independent, Supreme Court Justice David Davis, refused to serve, and a Republican was chosen to replace him. The commission voted along party lines, and Hayes was elected president. Hayes' election marked the end of Reconstruction. Shortly after becoming president, Hayes became the first president to use the Presidential Code of Arms on White House invitations. This Code of Arms became the Presidential Seal. Prior to Hayes' presidency, President Grant banned Easter egg rolls on the Capitol grounds due to damaged landscaping. In 1878, a group of children approached the White House gate and asked to roll their eggs on the White House lawn. Hayes thought it was a good idea, starting the tradition of a White House Easter egg roll. This same year, Hayes became a national hero of Paraguay, which was covered in another video of mine. Back in 1855, an American whaling ship named George Henry rescued the HMS Resolute after it was trapped in the Arctic. The ship was returned to England and was decommissioned in the 1870s. As the ship was dismantled, some of its timbers were used to create commemorative desks. One of these desks was given by Queen Victoria to President Hayes in 1880 to thank the United States for rescuing the ship over 20 years earlier. The desk is today called the Resolute Desk. It has been used by many different presidents for a variety of purposes. The desk's largest modification was made by Franklin Roosevelt, who added the panel in front of the desk to hide his wheelchair. Hayes refused to run for a second term, and stepped down in 1880. He passed away on January 17, 1893, in his home state of Ohio. Rutherford B. Hayes was involved with many of the iconic parts of the office of a president including the presidential seal, the resolute desk, and the Easter egg roll. The next president was James A. Garfield. Thank you.